guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. And today I've decided to make another thank you card using the Preserves cartridge and Crystal Stamps. K. Andrew Designs Art Stamps. This one is Food for Thought. And I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but every time you buy a package of Crystal Stamps, a dollar from that purchase goes to a charity. And the charity for this set of stamps is the storefront shelter for homeless children. I think that's a wonderful thing that Crystal's doing. And just remember, you're going to get some great stamps and you're going to be helping out a charity as well when you pick these up. But you're going to love these little stamps. Now today we're going to use the lemon out of the preserves cartridge. And this little sentiment right here goes perfectly with it. I could just squeeze you. I think that's so cute and I think it's perfect for a thank you card. So let me show you the little lemon. I've already got it cut out and put together. Isn't that cute? I love it. I don't know if you can see it, but this paper from Die Cuts with a View actually looks like the outside, the, the peel of a lemon because it's yellow, but it's got tiny little white dots in it. It's not like a polka dot. It's just like the outside of a lemon. And I used two colors of green for the leaves. And then this is just supposed to be like a shiny spot on the lemon. But you'll find that lemon on page 59 in the booklet. Here it is right here. I cut the back part or the whole image of the lemon in this lighter green. Then I cut the part right here in the yellow. Came over here and you can't see this little thing. That's the little highlight of the lemon. This is in ivory and then this is the darker green right here and I cut all these pieces of the lemon at three inches and I'm going to put this on some foam tape for the front of my card so I'm going to choose some colors and everything to uh, make this little card also I went to Joann's and I found the neatest thing look at this punch I love it it's called a lattice chain punch and it was $17.99, but I had a coupon, and I got it for $10. $10 and change. I love this thing. Let me show you what it looks like. It cuts the whole thing out. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is going to go on our card as well. I just love that. And while I was there, I picked up some more uh, die cuts with a view, mat stacks are, that were on sale. Uh, the one I'm using today... I'm going to see what I can find in Trade Winds because that's got some pretty papers in there. But let me go and uh, pick the rest of my colors and paper and we'll put this cute little card together. Okay, for my card base, this is going to be a portrait card and this is some ivory cardstock and I cut it at four and a quarter by eleven, scored it at five and a half, and when it's folded, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I decided I'm going with blue and yellow. I love blue and yellow together. So I found some. This is kind of a light navy. And we're going to put this on our card base. And I did decide to go with a pattern paper from the Trade Winds matte stack. It's really pretty. I found some pretty blue. There's some gorgeous papers in that stack. Oops, got a little bit of glue right there. And we'll get this put on our base. And the blue mat is four by five and a quarter. Now on top of that, this is the paper from Trade Winds, and it's a blue and white herringbone. I think that's so pretty. We're gonna put that right there, and then at the bottom, we're gonna add this yellow plaid. I don't know what company makes this? There was nothing on the back of it. I picked this up at the scrapbook store and thought it was really cute. So this is two and five eighths by three and three quarters and this piece is three and three quarters by four and a half. So we'll go ahead and get these adhered and then we're going to put our lattice border on. This is a super quick card. I think it's going to turn out really cute. So 
So we'll go ahead and get these layers on. Okay, I've got these adhered down and we're ready to add our lattice border. I love this. And we're going to put this on with a two-way glue pen and I'm going to let it extend above the yellow paper just enough so you can see that little scallop. Love, love, love that punch. There are so many cute EK Success punches out there now. I just can't get over it. And they are a little pricey, but if you pick them up like I did when you've got a coupon, it's not too bad. We'll go ahead and get all this on here and put this on our card. Okay, I've got my lattice on. I think that's so pretty and it just adds so much to the front of this card. Now I've got my little lemon ready. I've got it on two thicknesses of foam tape and we're just going to put it right up here at an angle. And I stamped a uh, crystal stamp on this little banner. I just cut this. You can do it two ways. You can take your scissors and just snip in there and make the little banner in. Or you can stick your paper in the corner of a square punch and it'll notch it out for you as well. But this little banner is going to go right down here. I think I'll let it extend a little bit into the blue. And I've got a pretty blue button that matches my blue background and I've got some embroidery floss in there and I'm going to add that right there. Okay guys, here's my finished thank you card using K. Andrew Design Stamps for the sentiment I could just squeeze you and the preserves cartridge for the little lemon. I think it turned out so pretty with the blue and yellow and white. It's just a very crisp look. And I'm going to give you a link so you can go over and pick up this set of stamps for yourself. Crystal has some other ones too that are just awesome. In fact, she just sent me a set of stamps for a giveaway as well as a set for me to use to make some more cards. So I'm going to be telling you about that this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Great set of stamps. You're going to love them. But thanks so much for coming by today, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye now.